Hey Kaneva, this is WVOutlaw22 coming at you with another great tutorial. And in this one here, we're all excited about the new smart objects. And you're probably wondering, well, what is a smart object? Basically, a smart object is an object that is pre scripted for all of Kaneva. And you don't have to do anything except. Um, predefined whatever uh, let's say for example distance or animations or sounds anything that you enjoy you can add to these objects and most of these items are already in your inventory uh, like sounds animations particle effects I'll tell you what let's let's take a little demonstration here I've got some uh, moving platforms here that act in various ways like uh, for example this one here if I was to jump on it it'll automatically move and it'll preset in just a few seconds okay uh, I've got another one over here set up that if I stand on it nothing will happen but if I click on it it automatically moves up click on it again and it goes down and yet another platform on this other side reacts as soon as I collide with it and it also resets after a few minutes okay in order to predefine um, distance, coordinates, all that. Basically what you do is you right mouse click on your smart object and go to edit properties. And in here you have a list of all the different settings that you can do. For example, uh, on return, which means it'll return automatically. If it goes up, it'll automatically return back to its normal state after three seconds. Um, right here you can adjust if you want to move it when it's clicked on and in this case I have it off and to simply turn it on is you click on it you go to edit and make sure that's on true hit done and of course anytime you make a change you want to make sure you hit save um, so now if I click on it it'll move click on it again and it'll come back down but that's basically how smart objects work over here we've got a skeleton and he's got some properties also that we can define let's get closer to him see what happens and as soon as he, yeah, he baby. <laughs> And as soon as he attacks us, you can see that we started doing the Gangnam style dance. And also for him, you right mouse click. You go to edit properties. And in here, you can change all the different settings uh, like Chase's players in range. And you can define uh, how, how fast does the monster chase its target. And you can put a number there the hit sound what kind of sound you want him to make right now we've got the yeah baby <laughs> and of course if you got more sounds in your inventory you're more than uh, welcome or like I said you can change it in there and once you do that make sure you click on you choose the one you want you click on done and you want to make sure that you always save um, there's different sounds of course you've got those in there and you got particle effects that he can do like when he hits you or he attacks you you can have smoke you can have fire anything that you have in your inventory you can slip it in there and it'll happen but that's pretty much just a quick rundown on smart objects um, Let's try this again. That was kind of fun. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, you get the basic idea of smart objects. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, K-mail me or catch me in game. And uh, I'll help you the best I can. Uh, this probably won't be the only tutorial on smart objects. I will probably be making another one as we progress. But uh, uh, this should help you to get going as far as customizing your first smart objects. And I'll be sure to include a link to all the smart objects that are currently available for us. Okay, as always, have fun, get creative. This is WV Outlaw 22. See you later.